Hey guys, it's Guzman here with another unboxing first impressions video. Once you've played with an Incredible, you're sold on an Incredible. That Snapdragon processor is just amazing. One gigahertz Snapdragon processor, uh, the HTC Sense. Some people don't like the Sense experience, they prefer the Google experience. Me, I, I kind of prefer the HTC uh, Sense. You know, it's more intuitive. I like having the phone feature on the front where it's just a little button and it's always there. I don't like how I have to click an icon to open my phone up. It just seems like it should be part of the native experience and that's something that HTC Sense also agreed with. Um, I realize whether you're hitting phone there or you're hitting phone on an icon, it's the same thing, but I just prefer it being there. So looking at the box, very similar to uh, the way a lot of HTC devices are shipped. You know, good size, sturdy cardboard box. It says incredible on the side. You've got your um, barcodes, IMEI IDs, um, package contents, which we're going to look through. Tells you a little bit of legalese, and then on the bottom, all the FCC compliant information. On the back, same, uh, same design, pretty much. Front. It's just standing straight up on the back. It's kind of cocked to the sideways. You've got your little Verizon subtle hints there uh, with their logos. All right, let's get this thing open. And again, guys, I'm sorry. This is not a true unboxing. The phone did have to be activated before I left Best Buy, so I'll try to explain what I saw when she was opening it up. I did leave this on. You've got your device here, HTC Incredible comes with a screen protector on the front that shows what all the buttons are. We'll get to those in just a second. Put this off to the side. And this will pull up and drop down. We've got a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. Nowadays that's good for pretty much nothing. So I'll be getting a uh, 1632 when they're available around here. Uh, here we've got tips and shortcuts, tips, hints, and shortcuts. Let's pop this open. And this has some Droid Incredible Verizon Access Manager software, so I guess that would be if I want to tether that I'm sure they'll charge me for. Some consumer information some product safety and warranty. Put that off on the side. And then we can lift this up and out of the way. And we have a data cable. See, it's not a true unboxing, but it's close. I haven't opened any of this stuff yet. So you've got the data cable, this little rubber band, USB on one end, and micro USB on the other end. And finally, last thing in the box, you've got your HTC USB to wall converter so that you can charge this thing off the wall. As far as weight, you know, it's, it's a decent weight. Probably uh, a little bit lighter, I'd say, than the Motorola Droid. Um, it's also supposedly a little bit thinner. I believe it's about one-eighth of an inch thinner. Um, on the device itself, along the top, you have a power button. You also have a three and a half millimeter audio jack. Uh, down the side, you've got the uh, power uh, volume up and volume down rocker. On the right side, you have nothing. Uh, again, on the left side, you have the charging port down here on the side. I'm assuming that's so that they can uh, make a cradle where you can dock it sideways, just like the Droid, where you can have your weather and alarm clock experience. Along the bottom, you've got your microphone. Um, flip into the back, we've got the 8 megapixel camera, dual flash, as well as a speaker port. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. And just reach in down at the bottom to grab the case. HTC soft touch case with the logo. And here we have the race car inspired red uh, interior. We've got the HTC pop that out and this will be a 1300 milliamp battery evidently my flip video doesn't want to focus on that 
you just have to take my word for it. Nothing else around the edges until you get back here, which is where your micro SD card will insert. So kind of nice that you don't have to take the battery out to put that in. Backing goes back on just by pressing in. And let's crank this thing up. We'll go ahead and pull that off. Virgin screen. Let's turn this thing on. And boom, we're up. No service. Let's see when it pops up. Verizon Wireless. Preparing the card. Drag that down. And here we are with the HTC Sense. You can see the full screen animation for the weather. It's 1.23 p.m. here in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. It's showing Spring Hope. It just hasn't gotten another location lock, I'm sure. Um, nice thing about the HTC Sense, you've got seven home screens, whereas the Droid only had three. You can actually pinch, and you'll get the uh, seven screen view. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you pinch, and then you can explode it back out by zoom. Um, the way I have mine set up, one to the, uh, well, it's really one to the left, even though you scroll to the right. I've got my music, then I've got a page that has uh, a calendar, if there was anything in my calendar, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You can tap these to turn them on and off. And then I've got a blank one that I haven't used yet. And if you watch down at the bottom, there's actually a small thing that as you scroll from page to page, it'll kind of slide across. When I go to the other side, I've got my wife in here as a favorite for calling her. Text messages. Uh, buddy that I work with, Chris, said he was going to show me the case he's got for his incredible. Go one more over to friend stream. You can see David Griffin Tech. He's over at Bonnaroo. Um, and that's it on that side. We'll go back to the home screen. I like it because you got that phone button down at the bottom, like I told you. Um, and scroll through my contacts. You've got your applications. One of the first ones I installed was Gowalla. Picks up really quick. I'm, I'm actually surprised. It picks up a lot quicker than uh, my iPhone did. Just acquires a lot faster. But you know, it's probably the fact that there's a whole lot of AT&T fail out here. Uh, we've only got Edge, which is why I switched off of AT&T and went with Verizon for the 3G network. And this whole Android experience is something new to me, but I'm liking it so far. Can't complain yet. Believe me, if I could complain, I will. Got my email through Gmail. Got the 8 megapixel camera. Let's put something in here that we can focus on. Saw it acquire right there. You've got the optical button. Scroll around. All right. And then just to take a button, all you got to do is push the optical button. It'll show you what you got. You can just go ahead and delete it if you don't want it. And then back back out. Um, of course, it's got the Android market. It's running Android 2.1. Should get the Froyo 2.2 upgrade. I believe it's going to have to go through HTC first so they can mold their Sense experience on top of it. Here we got our drag down for our notifications. I'll hit Peep, which is HTC's Twitter. Uh, battery is getting pretty low. That's fine. And that's what they give us a charger for. We'll go over here and see if we can figure out what exactly. Uh, there it is. Uh, M5 Manny at Twitter said, told him I was heading home to do the unboxing and first impressions video for this phone, and he wrote back, retweeted, said excellent. So you can see that it would pop up there in our drop down area, which is pretty cool. You know, light, durable, great screen. Uh, I like how it's got the little hidden indicator light. Um, nice and thin. You've got your widgets, shortcuts, folders, pretty much everything you've grown to expect out of a great device uh, from HTC. Hope you guys, as always, have a great day.